Okay, um, for a review of multiplying mixed numbers, uh, we're gonna go over some strategies. One that does not work but is very common from what I'm seeing and two that do work. So let's take a look at what we have. We have Aaliyah who's the cook for her PBL group in Mr. Ammon's class. Her job is to make a stew with a goosey. Her recipe uses two and a third pounds of a goosey in each batch of stew. She finds out later that during the PBL showcase, Steam Academy will have even more visitors than last year. She realized that she needs to make a total of one and a half batches now. How many pounds of a goosey will she need to use to make one and a half batches of stew? Okay, let's go over a common strategy that um, I see from, from many of us. Uh, we multiply whole, oops, whole numbers and fractions separately. And then we say, well, we have two and a third times one and a half, and that's going to equal two times one is two, one third times one half is one six. Okay, and that is not correct. That will not make sense. Does not work. Okay. Remember I told you guys that's a common mistake and I saw that very frequently recently. Let's go over strategies that do work and the strategies we actually learned to uh, do this. So again, we're trying to find if we think parts of parts, we're trying to think, okay, we have two and one third and we're trying to multiply that by, we need one and a half of that. We need one and a half of two and one third. So what does that equal? Okay. Uh, the first strategy we learned to do this and to solve this was to make a use the generic rectangles Okay, for the generic rectangles uh, again, we're multiplying uh, one and one-half times two and one-third one-third so we'll go ahead and draw out the rectangle Okay um, let's go ahead and put two and a third on the top. So we're going to have two plus one third. On the bottom, we'll have one plus one half. Okay, here we have one times two, which is two. Here we have one times one third, which is one third. Here we have one half times two, and we learned that that's going to be half of two is just one. And here we have one half times one third, and we know that multiply fractions, we multiply across. One times one is one, two times three is six. So we'll have one six. So when you guys did this, um, the f initial strategy, multiply whole numbers and then fractions separately, you had the two and the one six, and you got two and one six. Um, but again, as we can see, we're missing two different two other parts of this that we need. So let's actually go back and erase this, and we're actually going to add all the parts. We're going to add the two right here, plus the one third from here, plus the one whole from here, plus the one six. Okay. Um, now is when when we add fractions, add mixed numbers, we can add them separately because we're just combining them. Okay. Well, one third plus one six. Let's do that on the side here. One third plus one six. Okay. The common denominator is six. So I know that one third times two halves is two six. Okay. So one third is just two six plus one six is one six, which equals three six which is just one half. Okay, three six simplifies to one half. So we have one half here, and well two plus one is three. So our product is actually three and one half. Now, do we have to do a generic rectangle every single time? Um, no, we, we do not, and we learned how to do that with the second strategy we're gonna work on, which is to um, convert to improper fractions okay so our strategy now is just to convert the fractions into improper fractions so let's see let me scroll down just a bit okay so 
again, let me write down what we're multiplying. We're still going to be multiplying initially the one and a half times two and a third. I'm sorry, time one and one half. Okay, so we're still multiplying one and one half times two and one third. Um, and instead of drawing the generic rectangles, we're going to go ahead and just convert them to improper fraction. So let's let me break it down. So as far as the one and one half, we know that equals one times two is two plus one is three halves. For the two and one third, we know we have three uh, two holes. Each hole is made of three pieces, so from those holes we have six total, plus one more piece here, so we have seven pieces out of three. So uh, here we have three halves, here we have seven thirds, and we just multiply them across. Okay, Mul we're now just multiplying fractions. Three times seven is twenty-one, two times three is six, and we could simplify that. Uh, we could use the long division, six divided by twenty-one, Six, uh, six can't go in the, or the two tens can't be uh, divided with the six, so we just divide the 21 ones. Uh, we could figure out that they have three each. Three times six is 18, and we have three left. So we have three holes, three pieces left right here, and we split them as six, and again, the three over six is just one half, so we have three and one half same solution which makes sense because we're doing the same process